Welcome. It's great to have you guys here. Um, my name is Christian. I'm the uh, R&D manager at Scientifica. The most interesting things tend not to happen at the surface of the brain. Um, indeed, as neuroscientists, we actually would like to study the whole brain and not just the super, most superficial layers or, or and, and, and not just be limited to how far we were able to see if we're using um, imaging techniques. There's, there's been a lot of hype about it, there's been a lot of talk about three photon imaging and one of the advantages, the, the key point there is that we're using longer wavelengths, even longer than the 2P. It's a great transmission window, we can penetrate deeper. Um, the fact that we need three photons instead of two to interact at the same time with a molecule um, creates an interesting um, um, component in that, that a, yes, we need to have more higher concentration of photons, but we can also sidestep, so to say, um, a thin scattering layer. We started looking at our equipment and found that, well, the multi-photon microscope we have is, is set up to image beyond 1600 um, nanometers. We have detection units that are optimized for, for detecting highly scattered light, so we can excite and, and we can detect fairly deep down. And in principle, just on paper, our system should actually be able to be perfectly usable for three-photon imaging. And um, so earlier this year, we, we decided, well, theory is great, but we'd actually like to kind of test that and prove to ourselves, but also to, to the wider public that, that we can do that. And we teamed up with two companies working in, in ultra-fast laser technology, um, APE and Amplitude System um, from France. And um, then we found in the Francis Crick Institute an institution that was willing to host such a demo. Specifically there, the, the labs of Andreas Schaefer and Anita Runch who kindly provided us with the space, uh, the samples, and probably most importantly, driven and oh, all in all willing postdocs who were kind enough to, to help us through the trials and tribulations while we figured out how this whole thing would work. So if you take this laser and now use an OPA to frequency convert the light into um, a wavelength that is meaningful for three photon imaging, like 1300, 1700, um, you can do three photon imaging. And, um, and this is where I, I would like to maybe briefly introduce uh, our colleagues at AP. Uh, Amplitude and AP joined forces to, to develop this, uh, this OPA and, and the idea from the beginning was to develop uh, the best tool possible for three photon imaging. It's not a tool that is developed for spectroscopy experiment that we try to apply to microscopy. It's really um, a light source where we focus on what is meaningful for imaging, beam quality, beam pointing stability, dispersion compensation. Um, a take home message is that we don't need insane amount of power. We don't need multi-watt, we don't need multi-microjoule. Uh, we need beam, good beam quality, good dispersion compensation. Right, what, what's wrong with two photon excitation? And in fact, there are a few cases where two photon excitation falls short. And I think I've got a couple of use cases here that I'll, I'll use today. Uh, to sort of illustrate those ideas. So one is really just Im imaging very deep into densely labeled tissue, and the other is, is imaging through a, through a scattering layer. 